Have you ever struggled to make your e-commerce store look professional without spending a fortune? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a few free AI tools to build a branded Shopify store without one, spending any money and two, doing any coding. First thing I'll do is get a free Shopify account and then download an app called eComposer to build custom pages. Then we'll use an AI art tool called Midjourney to generate professional looking graphics for the store. We'll then take those graphics, tweak them a bit to make them match our store design and we'll piece them together using eComposer. Finally, we'll use ChatGPT to give us a full layout for the website and also to give us copy for the store. Grab a drink and get rid of any distractions because what I'm about to show you is a complete game changer for low budget dropshipping and for any e-commerce store. I was completely blown away by the results that I got from this method and honestly, if you apply this correctly, even your low budget dropshipping stores can compete with professionally designed e-commerce stores without you having to spend a dime. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to shopify.com, start a free trial by clicking the button right here and you'll get 14 days of Shopify for free. By the way, I'm gonna have to ask you guys to excuse me for my weird voice because fortunately I got COVID the second time now. So my voice is a bit weird because my nose is weird. But yeah, I really just wanted to record this video anyway because I think this is really, really huge for you guys to start using right now. So yeah, just excuse my weird voice. But yeah, going on, after you get Shopify, you log into your store, you're gonna go to here, the home page of your store. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna to go to online store themes, make sure you have the Dawn theme. This is a free theme. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. Make sure that you have this one on. You should generally, when you start a new account, this is the theme that you're gonna have. And then you're gonna to go to apps and you're going to look for eCompose. I have it already in here. If you don't, the only thing you need to do is just search for eCompose. And when you do that, you're gonna land on the shop Shopify app store right here and you just add the eComposer app onto your Shopify store. So once you're an eComposer, you're just going to have to create a new page right here. This is going to be blank. This is the one that I already have. And if you click my page here, you're going to see that this is the layout that I have. This is the final result. So you can see it looks really nice and branded. But what I'm about to show you is how you can build something exactly like this. Building the sections on eComposer is relatively easy. The first thing that we need to know is how are we going to get the graphics for these sections. So the way we do that is by using something called Midjourney. So to get to Midjourney, you can just Google Midjourney. And once you get to Midjourney, this is not where you're going to see. This is my logged in page because I have a paid account. But where you're going to see is this. You don't need a paid account, by the way. I have a paid account because I've used all of the 200 credits that you have, but you can still get 200 designs for free. So you don't need a paid account. All you need to do is click join the beta here, and then you're going to be sent to the Midjourney Discord server, which is where you generate the AI art. Let me show you exactly how you generate the AI art once you're in the Discord server. So once you're the discord this is what the mid journey discord is going to look like as soon as you join now i was doing it by messaging the mid journey bot right here this is what i'm about to show you next how i've generated my designs but if you're in the beta and you're using a free trial account which is all you need you're not going to be able to message the bot directly which is not a problem all you have to do is go to one of these newbie channels right here and this is where you're going to be generating your ai what i'm about to do in a private message with the bot is the exact same thing that you write right here in the prompt for the newbie channel. The only reason I do it with the bot is because I have a paid account. You can use the exact same commands, exact same features just by typing it in the newbie channel. Once you're in the newbie channel, first thing is you want to get a picture of your product, just the isolated picture of your product. And to do that, you go on AliExpress and you find your product. So this is the product that I've used for my design. Let's just assume that you have some other product that I'm going to show you exactly how to isolate the image. So you go on AliExpress, let's type sneakers. If you have your product right here sort by orders let me see if i can find anything similar not really none of these are very similar to the one that i had but let's just pick this one here for example so we have this and what we need to have is a picture of the product as good of a picture as possible now this isn't a great picture for a hero banner it's a very boring white background picture but this is where mid journey is going to help us turning this boring picture into an amazing piece of artwork so what you need to do is just copy image address open a new tab paste and here you go you have your isolated picture 
then you go to mid journey and you're going to enter imagine and now with the prompt paste the link for the product beautiful hero banner or even before this let's do beautiful website to sell sneakers and then we can do v4 which is the fourth version the newest update and then stylize 500 stylize you can use a number between one and one thousand it just means how creative mid journey is going to be a lower amount means closer to the prompt and a higher amount means more creative freedom so we're just going to leave it in the middle and we're going to let it do this so we can see that bot has started to work on our website here and give it a moment 62 percent 23 and we're almost done and there we go so you can see right here that mid journey is generating kind of a website layout what you can do to make this better is add prompts like this imagine picture beautiful website to sell sneakers and then you do a few more prompts like ui ux and then you do e4 and stylize 500 now i'm not going to do this because it's just going to take more time and i want to show you guys how to make the website but just so you guys know you can add additional prompts to make the picture reflect more of what you're trying to get out of it right so that was just a little side note now what we want to do to start with and get something like this is the hero banner so what we're going to do is give it the picture and do hero banner for online store and let's just give it this without any other parameters and see what it does. Now, here is the suggested designs that Midjourney came up with. These here with these faces, weird, doesn't make any sense. It usually does that when you type hero is something that I figured out. So what I'm going to do is the same thing, but just banner for online store without the hero word. I think this will sort the problem. Usually when you do a hero, even if you say hero banner, it usually gets it confused and it thinks you're talking about an actual action hero or something. So it, it messes it up a bit. So we're going to retry with just banner for online store and here we go so this one looks nice i don't like the text but i really like this one right here so we're gonna go with this one now when you like one of the results you have these buttons here and you can do two things you can upscale each of the variants so you one two three four or you can get more variants out of your favorite variant so you can get more out of variant one two three and four you could get similar results so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get more variants out of variant number two so we're gonna click v2 and we're gonna let it give us more variants variations for our favorite design and here we go so we got a few more variations i like this one because it's closer to the original shoe these here just change the product too much so we're going to go with this one and the next thing that you want to do when you have one that you like is you just select upscale because these are low resolution versions you need the upscaled version to work with so we're going to now we have our upscaled picture right here. We're going to click it. We're going to click open in browser and now we're going to save it. So now we have our picture on Photoshop. You can use any photo editing app that you want. I prefer Photoshop, but you can use whatever you prefer. Now what we have to do is we got to get rid of this text here because this is not going to work for our hero banner. What we want is, let me show you my example, is we want to have a picture that we can add here like this one that will be just the product and blank background so we can add the text over it on e-compose. So going back to Photoshop, the way we're going to do this is we're going to select the stuff that we don't want as closely as possible. And we're going to use the content aware fill feature on Photoshop. And there we go. We got rid of it. We don't really want the face and all of this stuff in the back either. So we're just going to crop part of the banner that we want like that like that there we go that's a lot better so we just need to download this and then export it as a png upload it here and we just have made our hero banner this text we can just add it right here on content on ecomposer you just add your subheading and your content and you can fix the typography or the spacing of the design you can edit all of those parameters right here now to come up with the copy you can go on chat gpt click try chat gpt and you can just do write headline for a sneakers online store step up your style shop the latest sneakers trends at our online store so chat gpt doesn't always give you the perfect headline you gotta sometimes play around with it a bit to get what you want but if if you pay attention and you give it the right prompts you can usually get some really good copy out of it so for example in here what i would do is take this part right here step up your style and this is kind of similar to what i did i'll put a picture on the screen of my conversation with chat gpt when i made this particular page but i just took a part of the chat gpt result and then i put it into the store so you got to kind of select the information but it does give you really good quality copy for the most part and you just put in the button and on or these features here what i wanted to do is had a feature by 
uh, that didn't look generic. I wanted something that looked branded and looked similar and related to the product. So I wanted icons that would match the overall design of the website. And to do that, what I did was I used the gallery section in here on eComposer and just dragged it there. And then I went back to mid journey to do these icons. So let me show you how I got these icons. So what I did was icons for website. So dash imagine icons for website. And then I posted the link of my product picture from AliExpress. So it would use the product link. And this is what I got. Then I like V4 here and I got my upscaled version of V4, which is this one right here. Now I'm going to show you on Photoshop how I used these variations to make the icons. So again, download the picture, open it in a browser, download the picture and edit it on Photoshop. So we have it right here on Photoshop. Very simply, we're going to cut this one. Let's say we want this icon right here. It's not very good. We kind of want to center the square to make it even. There we go. Command C or Control V if you're on Windows. New layer or new file. Sorry, put this in. Now we're going to use the content aware tool, select it as closely as possible, edit content aware fill, get rid of that. And then we're going to add some text. So we're going to add some text, which is going to be our features right there. Try and get a color that matches your brand. Make it a bit smaller, way too big. Center it right under the icon. And then we can make it look a little bit better. I didn't do this. If you look on my design, I just left the text the way it was, but you can definitely make it look nicer. So you would just download this, export it as a PNG, and then add it onto eComposer right here. This is how I did it. This one right here is the one, the image that we were just editing. And the others were also from those mid journey prompts that I just showed you. Then this section right here is just a crop of this picture and the product description shop now button. You can get the button from here. So you drag the button there. You use this as a text heading and then other text to put in the price. And for the description, you can always rely on chat GPT. Where is it right here? Give me a product description for a futuristic sneaker or you know whatever you want and just describe your product and then you get chat gpt to give you a description now i'll bring it up on the screen again so we don't have to wait because chat gpt is having some issues right now i'll show you on screen this is the result that chat gpt got me from which i use the product description for my example right here now looking at the example here the only thing left to talk about is the logo the logo is one of the sneakers that i got from mid journey with the background removed and the name of the store and then the header color right here since it's on the dawn theme usually with a good theme with a paid theme you would be able to just change the color very easily the dawn theme doesn't really let you do it but i'll show you how you can get into the code and do it now for the logo and this is also something that is very useful so i want to talk about it is where is our original sneaker right here so you have to remove the background right to, to do the logo so very easily on photoshop for example you just have to select the sneaker so you can go here or is it select unlock the background first select subject copy new layer paste and then if you want to add the logo, you can extend it like that. And then you add your, oh, whoops, I had the content aware tool on. We don't want to do that. Unselect content aware, extend. Oh, let's try and do it again. So paste the sneaker, make it bigger, no content aware. Make sure content aware is turned off there. And then we logo text right there logo text you know make it bigger make it look whatever style you like and then you can just export it as a png with transparent background and plug it into the header this is also very important by the way if you want to use uh, a background from your website so you can export the exact same picture of your sneaker for example for the hero banner without a background you put it in without a background and then you choose the color of the background through here so you can go on ecomposer background and you can choose the background color right here this is easier because it would actually fix one of the things that I I don't like about this design, which is that the icons have a slightly different background color to the hero banner. So the colors are not, they kind of match there. It's not terrible, but you would rather have similar colors. And you can do that by just exporting the pictures with a transparent background and then manually setting up your background color here. So that is something that you should also keep in mind. Now for the header to change the color of the header on the Dawn theme, you go to your Shopify store, click online store, and then click edit code right there. And you look for this file base.css. You can just look for it here you'll find it and you scroll to the bottom and you take this little bit of text i'll leave this piece of code in the description so you can copy paste it for your own video and all you have to do is just plug in your color code so your hex color code for the color that you want on your header you replace with this code right here this is the one for mine and then you just add this little bit of text at the end of the page save the base.css file and you'll be able to change your header color on your dawn theme so that's pretty much it that's how you can do a page that 
that looks exactly like this one. Now, let me give you another tip that is really, really useful if you want to get inspiration. One thing that you can do is, let's say you have a product, but you don't have, you're not very creative, you don't see the website layout, you want ideas for how to build a website, you can go here and do amazing website to sell. Let's say, what do you want to sell? Gadgets. You want to sell gadgets or watches. Let's say you want to sell watches. And then let's add UI and UX as parameters here because this helps mid-journey understand that it's supposed to have a user interface and then v4 stylized 500 and this is going to give us an idea for an entire website that you can just copy and model onto shopify now mind you i'm using only free tools dawn theme free ecomposer i'm using a free version right now free trial even shopify i'm using a free trial on shopify if you use paid tools you can potentially do better and if you put more time you can definitely do better i did this in like two hours so if you put more time into it you can definitely build an even better website now look at this amazing website designs right there look at this this looks amazing and you can use this for inspiration for any sort of website and then with a shopify page builder you can just mimic the same layout use the same pictures and build it for yourself and you get a website that looks professional for absolutely free you can do it in just a few hours now the last thing that i want to tell you about is just if you don't know what to do for the website layout you can use chat gpt and say give me a website layout or an online store that sells watches typo there and there you go chat gpt will give you the layout so logo main navigation menu home shop about us contact search bar cart icon all of these things and the graphics you just get from mid journey so chat gpt gives you the website layout the copy any text that you need and then mid journey gives you the graphics you just have to put them together that's how easy it is to make a professional looking website right now just by using free ai tools so definitely go and use this because if you do a good job the competition gap the moat between professional e-commerce stores and drop shipping stores it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller because you can leverage tools like ai to do a lot of these things for free so definitely don't miss out on this opportunity build your stores the best they possibly can with ai and yeah i'm very excited to see what you guys come up with using this method and that's it for the tutorial today i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you thought of this if you're using this and if you want to share some of your designs so i'm really looking forward to see what you guys make of this and if you want to get shopify for one dollar one year or one pound for three months just check the link in the description so you can use that to get Shopify for very cheap or even longer than just a 14 day trial and if you found the video useful I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like subscribe turn on your notifications because that helps me understand the kind of content that helps you guys the most and as always thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye